Hey there, YouTube. Redneck Brian here. A qu real quick video. I just want to show you some a little bit of progress I made on the throttle system here for the racer. The throttle is now complete, so I can finally put this thing back together. So I was waiting on to get this done, and I needed time to do it. And I had time today to do it, so I got to go to work tonight, so I'm not doing renovations today. So I got the throttle completed. First of all, what I did was I drilled out this inner piece right here on the governor and then I gradually drilled out this outer piece because I didn't for one I didn't want to snap a drill bit my drill these drill bits sometimes suck I'll show you what I'm using here they are it's a full it's a full kit it's a mastercraft but I broke two of them already so, so anyways that's done uh, so I got this all in and what I did was on the actual governor arm in here, I drilled a hole to allow the cable to go through. That was actually something to do. That was a little bit difficult. Slipped around quite a bit. So I thread the cable first through the tightener. I got an extra one here. I'm not using it. Thread it through here first. These are actually from a ceiling fan uh, safety strap. Anyways, I thread that through there. I tighten it all down. And then I was debating on how to do the uh, return spring because the system does require a return spring because the carburetor does not have enough spring action in it to make this cable fully return. It makes it partially return, but not fully. So this is the spring from the old Massey racer. I first looked at it, it was I thought it was going to be too long, because I was originally going to attach it right to here. So I hooked it on, and was looking for a place to attach it, and I found this small uh, screw hole right here inside the carburetor. So I'll show you it. works beautifully. So I did not cut the cable down because I might be changing the engine on this to that twin cylinder I was talking about. I have not, I don't, I I will be hopefully getting it if they do junk the tractor, but I don't have it yet obviously and yeah so I did leave the cable long. It's just hanging right down here. It's not in the way and this should not activate the choke. Um, Activate the choke, you can actually pull on this here still. Should work. Yeah, you can pull on it right down here. And uh, so the hand throttle will work for the choke. At least it should. And that is just the throttle. So my heavy right foot will now be happy on here. I'm just hoping that's in a good enough spot for my foot. This here should be perfect. My nice welded on brake pedal, my big brake pedal, which came off the Massey. So this thing's actually now ready to be wired. I have the doghouse sitting over there. The birds are just crazy die bombing me today. As uh, they they got babies in their nests. So my dog was out here and they're die bombing her as well. So I moved that out of their target target area. So I'm gonna start wiring that. I gotta replace the solenoid first. Uh, I'm going to do that shortly, and I got the headlights all wired in already. They're all done. They're ready to go. Um, I just got to get the harness to them. I'm going to get the stereo out here, get it wired, get the amp wired. I'm going to get these here glued down right away, right now. I got the hot glue gun heating up to glue these down. Uh, and then they're done. Uh, so yeah, this thing's actually looking pretty good. And then I'm going to wash everything on here and clear coat absolutely everything again. So hopefully by the end of this week, see I'm just working on this whenever I take the break from doing my uh, renovations in the house. So I'm getting this done slowly. No major rush on this, it's almost done. So I still got the dummy wheels on the back. The permanent ones are on the front. The steering's all done. Engine's all hooked up. Uh, brakes are all done. I just gotta basically put the put the doghouse and the dash together and wire it. Uh, I'm going to wire the doghouse first, and then I'm going to uh, just leave the wire to the dash hanging, and then put the dash together and bolt the dash to the doghouse and then bolt it into the tractor as one big piece. That's what I'm hoping. And then the, I can put the front fenders on. I know some people with these they don't run the front fenders, but I personally I do like them because it gives it a little bit different look. Uh, I know a few people out there that do not like them, but just personal preference. The engine is ready to go. I should change the oil in it before I get before I uh, fire it up again, but it's not horribly dirty, so it should be okay. 
and yeah that's pretty much it I may have one difficulty with the safety switch on here it might not let it start or let it fire basically um, I may have to put a zip tie on this button just to tie it down I'm not sure yet I'm not 100% sure yet I believe it when it's open I believe opens um, on or off I'm not 100% sure on uh, the safety switch that's the only safety switch I gotta worry about on this so yeah that's pretty much it I also gotta replace a fuel line which isn't a big deal it's too short anyway so I'll, I'll snag one from something the fuel filter should be okay still the new engine if I do get it has a brand new fuel filter on it so so yeah and this motor, I'm not going to bother freshening it up, not going to bother painting it. And if I do get the other motor, I will paint the other motor. It's, the motor's in pretty good shape already. It needs a carburetor work, but hopefully, if I can get it and I do get it, it will fit in here. It's a, v, it's a Pose Twin, so it's real wide. So, that is pretty much it for this. So I'm gonna leave, as you can see, it's moved from over there to here in the shade of the tree. And yeah, so I'll talk to you all later. Keep it redneck, chooch it, and please subscribe and comment.